ಗೀತ ಕೃಷ್ಣಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತಯ ತದ್ಭಕ್ತ ಬೈ ದ ಕೋಸಸ್ ಬಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಆನ್ ಕೊರಂಗ ನಾವು ಯಾವ ಕಾಮ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಯೋರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಹೋಲಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ನಿಧೋಯಾಘಾತ್ This is a very painful place for all the followers of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Это место исполнено боли для всех последователей Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu had been performing his uh, Sankirtan Leela throughout Navadweep for about one year. He was 24 years old, almost 25. And Makara Sankranti was approaching. And he had decided On the uh, night of Makar Sankranti, I will leave home and accept the renounced order of life sannyas. From Keshava Bharati, who is residing on some quite a distance on the other side there in the village of Kattwa. Katya. Mm-hmm. Gaudiya Vaishnava is also called Kat- Katwa. They have another name for Katwa. Kantak Nagari. Uh, Gaudiya Vaishnava also called Katwa Kantak Nagari. Kantak means a thorn. Because this, only remembering this place is like a thorn in the heart of the devotees of Mahaprabhu. Uh, Kantak is a kaluchka. It means that only one thing about this place, uh, Katwa is like a shuku in the heart. So Mahaprabhu, He didn't tell her, he didn't give anyone any warning. Only five intimate associates he told. That was Nityananda Prabhu, Gadada Pandit, Chandrasekhar Acharya, uh, Mukunda, and maybe one sort of Damodar Goswami. Nityananda Prabhu, They were the only persons he So on his last day here in Navadweep, he did kirtan throughout the town. The milkmen were coming forward and giving him pots of milk. The garland makers were coming into the street and covering him in garlands. Persons selling sandalwood paste mixed with saffron were coming and anointing his body with saffron as he was doing kirtan through the streets with his associates. Even Kolabeja Shirida came and gave him a pumpkin. <coughs> It was a very moving and tender scene. So he told the servant, take this milk and this pumpkin to Sachimata so that she can make good look looky. I must uh, uh, taste the offering of Kolaveta Shrida before I leave. This will be my last chance. And after wandering here and there, Gora returned to his home and Mother Sachi embraced him and wiped the dust from his body. Then no one could understand, but for the last time, 
Бабу Чок э, Прасад Хия. И никто этого не знал, но тогда в последний раз Махапрабху принял здесь Прасад. And the remnants of his Dudluk Luki, Sachimata distributed to his devotees. А остатки его Дудлук Луки, Сачимата раздала его преданным. So then the sun was, it was evening time, it hadn't set yet. Mahabhu came on the bank of the Ganges to relish the beauty of the breezes and the setting sun. Уже солнце собиралось заходить, и тогда Махапрабху пришел сюда, чтобы насладиться мгновением ветерка и наблюдать за закатом. And he met with his young wife, Vishnu Priya. И он встретился со своей молодой женой Вишну Прия. And he was in such a joyful mood. Он был в таком радостном настроении. He even sat down with Vishnu Priya and decorated her hair with flowers. Он даже сел рядом с Вишну Прия и украсил ее волосы цветами. Actually, he never showed such attention to her before. На самом деле он никогда не выказывал ей такого внимания. Because he was always absorbed in chanting the holy names, hearing Shrimad Bhagavatam, that he was not. Attentive. He did not try to have any type of romantic dealings with Vishnu Priya. Ah, because he was always surrounded by the devotees of Shrimad Bhagavatam, and he never, he never showed any attention to Vishnu Priya because he didn't want to have anything romantic. He was very strict even in his household life. He did not allow the name of a woman even to go in his ear. Он был таким строгим, что даже в семейной жизни он не позволял имени женщины войти в свои уши. So now he was decorating the hair of Vishnu Priya with flowers and giving her tambul also. А сейчас он украшал волосы Vishnu Priya цветами и также угощал ее тамбулой. So you would imagine that she was like, oh, I'm so fortunate. Можно было бы подумать, что она решила, что она очень счастлива. But actually she was feeling tremendous anxiety. Но она чувствовала величайшую тревогу. Because she was remembering, oh, this morning when I came to take bath in the Ganga, then I lost my the nose ring that was given to me on my wedding day. Она вспоминала, что этим утром она пошла принять омовение в Ганге и потеряла там свое кольцо в носу, которое ей подарили на день свадьбы. And I searched for it in the water for a long time, but I could not find it. И она долго искала его в воде, но не могла найти. So it's considered to be extremely inauspicious when a wife loses the nose ring from her wedding day. Это считается очень неблагоприятным знаком, когда жена теряет кольцо со своей свадьбы в носу. And then, when she was coming back from the Ganga, she stubbed her toe on a stone, and her foot was bleeding. This is also considered to be very inauspicious. И также она, когда когда она возвращалась домой из Ганги, она ушибла свой большой палец ноги о камень, и это тоже и пошла кровь. Это тоже считается очень неблагоприятным. So on the one hand, it seemed like the the most beautiful moment, but actually she was full of anxiety. То есть, с одной стороны, это выглядело как удивительно радостный, счастливый момент, но с другой стороны, она чувствовала очень сильную тревогу. She was thinking that when you have a burning oil lamp, она думала, что когда у вас есть такая масляная лампа, then the flame burns the brightest just before the oil is about to run out. То самый яркий свет, это эта масляная лампа дает тогда, когда огонь вот-вот потухнет, перед тем как огонь потухнет. It suddenly goes, and then. Он очень ярко горит, горит, потом несколько раз так вспыхивает, а потом гаснет. So she was having an intuitive fear. Oh, he's being so nice to me. Perhaps it means that he will leave me. А у нее был интуитивный страх. Сейчас он так ласков со мной, и мне кажется, это означает, что он скоро покинет меня. So the evening came, and Mahapu and Vishnu Priya took rest, but Vishnu Priya, she wanted to stay awake the whole night. And watch and make sure he would not leave. Наступила ночь, Махапрабху и Вишну Прия пошли отдыхать, но Вишну Прия была так встревожена, она не хотела ложиться спать, она хотела бодрствовать всю ночь. But Prada Maya, Yoga Maya came and put a hundred kilos on each eyelid, made her eyes close, and she fell asleep. Но Йога Майя, правда Майя, положила вес 100 килограммов на каждый из ее век, и она заснула. Seeing that Vishnu Priya was sleeping, our Nimai Pandit. He got up and he came out from the house. Видишь, на вид, что видишь, на приезд спит, не мой пандит вышел из дома. Гадада пандит knew, and he he came there, and he held Mahapu's hand and said, "Take me with you." Гадада пандит знал об этом, он пришел туда и взял Махапрабху за руку, пожалуйста, возьми меня с собой. But Mahapu looked at Gadada Pandit and just quoted one mantra of the Vedas. Махапрабху лишь посмотрел на Гадада Пандита и зацитировал одно мантру из Вед. Ekam meva dutiyam means 
the Father Brahma, Brahma, the supreme truth, is one without a second. That means I'm going alone. When he came out into the courtyard, <coughs> then Mahapu saw that Satchimata, she also had an intuitive feeling that something terrible was happening and she was standing at the gates. Махапрабху увидел Шачимату, у которой тоже было интуитивное ощущение, какое-то страшное предчувствие, и она стояла у ворот. So seeing him coming out in the night, it can only mean one thing. Видя то, как он выходит из дома в ночи, может означать только одно. So she was stunned, she was speechless, she could not move. Она не двигалась, она была лишена дара речи. And tears were flowing from the eyes of Sachimata. А слезы текли из ее глаз. Nimai Pandit bowed down at the feet of his mother. And took the dust from her feet and put it on his head. Then, with folded hands, he did parikrama of his mother three times. And then, from Jagannath Mishra Bhavan, he came here. And calling out like a mad person, Krishna, Krishna, Krishna! Mahaprabhu jumped into the Ganga here. Словно безумный он кричал Кришна, Кришна и прыгнул в Гангу здесь. It was a cold season. Это было было холодное время года. And he was swimming across, just calling Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Но он плыл и просто взывал Кришна, Кришна. He was showing the whole world. Он показал всему миру. That if you want to attain Sri Krishna, whatever you are most attached to in this world, you have to give it up. Если вы хотите обрести Шри Кришну, то, к чему вы привязаны больше всего на свете, вы должны будете оставить это. We cannot have Krishna Prem and have material attachment at the same time. Мы не можем одновременно иметь Кришна Прему и сохранить какие-то материальные привязанности. So Mahapu left and went to Katwa. И так Махапрабху оставил свой дом и отправился в Катву. In the morning, the devotees came to the Mahapu's house. Утром преданные пришли к его дому. And discovered that he was gone. Они обнаружили, что он ушел. They were searching for him everywhere. Они везде искали его. And Satchimata came here on the bank of the Ganges, and she was saying, "Nidoya, Nidoya, Nidoya! Oh, you have Nidoy, no mercy. You have no mercy." А Сачимата пришла сюда на берег Ганги, плакала и взывала, "Nidoya, Nidoya! Нет, у тебя нет милости, нет милости." Mahaprabhu had made his heart as hard as a stone. Махапрабху сделал свое сердце таким же твердым, как камень. Insentient, no feeling. И оно стало как будто без чувств. Related to his the worldly life, in his daily life. Без никаких чувств. Because all his worldly life is also transcendental. Без без никаких чувств его мирским делам, но на самом деле мы понимаем, что у него нет никаких мирских дел, потому что это Махапрабху, но тем не менее были. But he's showing what is required to attain. The eternal service of Sri Krishna. No, it shows what is required, what is necessary to achieve the eternal service of Krishna. So, when after receiving sannyas in Katwa, then Nityananda Prabhu tricked Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu wanted to go to Vrindavan, but Nityananda Prabhu brought him round in a circle back to Gorda Mandal to Shantipur. After that, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu received sannyas in Katwa, he wanted to go to Vrindavan, but Nityananda Prabhu obstructed him. And when the devotees heard, "Well, Mahaprabhu is in Shantipur," then they, wherever they were in Navadvip, they dropped everything and they all went running there. So many people were crossing the Ganges to see him. You could not see the water; it was just like a river of heads. Nityananda Prabhu had promised Satchimata, "Don't cry; I will bring him back." Nityananda Prabhu had promised Satchimata, "Don't cry; I will bring him back." So now Nityananda Prabhu had brought Mahapu to Shantipur. He sent some servants to go and bring Satchimata on a palanquin. And Nityananda Prabhu brought Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to Shantipur and told the servants to bring Satchimata on a palanquin. At first, Satchimata was so heartbroken; she was weeping, but she had to survive. At first, Satchimata was so heartbroken; she was weeping, but she had to suppress somewhat her emotion in order to give give comfort to Vishnu Priya. Mahaprabhu, 
Шачи Мата чувствовала себя полностью разбитой, ее сердце было разбито, но в какой-то момент она была вынуждена э, подавить свои, свои эмоции для того, чтобы утешить Вишну Крию. Шачи Мата на палинкуин. To Shantipur, all devotees gone. Everyone in Navadvi could go to see Mahaprabhu. Only one person could not go. Vishnu Priya. Because the, only the wife cannot see the husband again after sannyas. Mother can see everyone else, but not the wife. Все, абсолютно все преданные в Навадвипе отправились повидать Махапрабху и, и его мать Шачимата тоже, но э, все могли пойти, но не могла пойти только одна Вишнатрия, потому что когда человек преданный принимает Саньясу, все могут его увидеть, за одним исключением, кроме его жены. So there was no one at all to console Vishnu Priya. И не было ни одного человека, кто мог бы утешить Вишну Прию. When Sachimata arrived in Shantipur, Then Mahaprabhu bowed down to her and she took Mahaprabhu on her lap and was kissing him all over. She was trying to look at his lotus face but she could not see because her eyes were uh, welling up with tears. And now she was seeing her son for the first time in sannyasi roof with shaved head. Mahaprabhu is very clever. He said, oh mother, I have done wrong, I have made a mistake, I became mad. Он сказал, о, мама, я совершил ошибку, я обезумел. Give me the order and I will return home. Дай мне приказ, и я вернусь домой. But he knew, his mother knows Dharma very well. So she, she said, no, no, you should not return home. Но он знал, что его мать очень хорошо знает карму. И она сказала, нет, нет, ты теперь не должен возвращаться домой. But Brindavan is very far away. Но Бриндаван очень далеко. So I request, don't go there. Я прошу тебя, не ходи туда. Navadweep and Jagannath Puri are like two rooms in the same house. Navadweep и Jagannath Puri это как две комнаты в одном доме. So if you will go to Jagannath Puri, then from time to time you may come here. And there will be devotees going backwards and forwards all the time, and I'll receive some news about you. So, on the request of his mother, Mahaprabhu did not stay in Vrindavan, but he stayed in the shelter of Lord Jagannath in Jagannath Puri. And now young Vishnu Priya is like a widow. Even worse than that, because her husband is still alive, but she cannot see him. And the whole time she was just absorbed in separation. Oh my beloved Nimai. И все это время она была погружена в жесточайшую разлуку. О, мой возлюбленный Нимай. Сачинандан. Сачинандан. Wife will actually not say directly the name of the husband. They'll refer as the son of his mother or father. На самом деле жена не называет прямо имя мужа по имени. Out of respect. Она из уважения, она дает ему имя, связанное с его матерью или отцом. So she became the embodiment of intense bhajan in separation from Mahaprabhu. И она стала воплощением очень глубокого интенсивного баджана в разлуке с Махапрабху. From early in the morning, she used to chant the holy names. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And with each mantra, she would pick up one grain of rice, uncooked, and wash it in her tears, and then put it to one side. И с каждой мантрой, которую она произносила, она брала рисинку, сырой неприготовленный рис, мочила его в своих своих слезах и откладывала в сторону. So from before sunrise until midday, she was chanting continuously and weeping and washing one grain of rice with each mantra. И от заката до от до времени до очень раннего времени до восхода солнца до полудня она воспевала святые имена имена и омывала рисинки в своих слезах. And then by noon, whatever was collected, she would cook 
I offer to Sri Krishna. И к полудню она брала этот собранный лист отдельный and и then, готовила его и предлагала, предлагала Кришне. Lovingly she would give that prasad to Sachimata and whatever was left over she would take that herself. И с любовью она предлагала этот прасад Сачимате, а затем остатки этого она почитала сама. So today we are remembering the lotus feet of Vishnu Priyadevi. The embodiment of very intense love for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. By remembering her separation, then the heart becomes purified. The residents of Navadweep. They don't want to see Mahaprabhu as a sannyasi. When they saw him in his sannyasi form, it was very similar to when the gopis of Vrindavan went to Kurukshetra and saw Rajendra Nanda and Sharma Sunda as Dwokadish. Когда жители Новодвипа увидели Махапрабху в форме саньяси, в одежде саньяси, это было очень похоже на то, как гопи Вриндавана отправились на Курукшетру и увидели там Кришну, как Дваракадиша, во, всем, во всей одежде с оружием э, в Двараке. Аутудли, где сол Кришна? Аз Катрия. Внешне они видели Кришну как Шатрия. Аз Роял Принц, wearing armor and a sword. Как принц, у которого есть обмундирование, меч. But seeing this form in their hearts, they had this party of Krishna, all oh, decorated with the peacock feather and berries from the forest. No, when they looked at him, they got the party of Krishna, which was in the forest. Holding a flute, playing a flute, as a dear Lalit Nayak, the hero who is a romantic like Cupid. The hero, and who has no care in the world. He doesn't have to do yada yada hida masyaglani babati barata save the world and kill the demons or anything. He's just enjoying the love with his devotees. Его не нужно ни спасать мир, ни устанавливать карму, ни убивать демонов. Он лишь может просто обмениваться любовью со своими преданными. So in the same way the residents of Navadvip, when they see Mahaprabhu in his sannyasi vesh, oh, they cannot tolerate it and in their heart they see him not with a shaved head. И таким же образом, когда жители Навадвип видят Махапрабху в его одежде саньяси, они видят его на самом деле не так, не с литой головой. But Sriman Moktika Dharma Pada Chikaram Susmera Chandrananam with his curling hair tied up with a string of pearls. Они видят его с его прекрасными вьющимися волосами, которые завязаны убранной прическу жемчужной ниткой. And shining with fragrant oil. И он сияет, он умащен ароматным маслом. Decorated in ornaments made of flowers. На нем украшения из цветов. Not a short dhoti. Like this up to here. The Bahivas, but actually a dhoti, very artistically folded in three places with nice color. A very красивая dhoti, которая в трех местах сложена с красивыми сочетаниями цветов. And without a care in the world, just sinking and dancing in ecstasy in the ocean of the nectar of Hari Nam Sankirtan. И он совершенно беззаботен, он лишь тонет в океане экстаза. As Braj Gopis have a supernatural, uncontrollable, spontaneous attraction to Krishna playing his flute, all the Navadvip Vasis have a spontaneous, supernatural, uncontrollable attraction to Nimai Pandit. И подобно тому, как Braj Gopis имеют невероятно сильное, спонтанное, мощнейшее влечение к Кришне, когда он играет на флейте, то есть не так же жители Навадвипы испытывают невероятные очень мощное и спонтанное влечение к нему пандиту. All their pranas, all their senses are spontaneously attracted to only serving him. Все их чувства, все все их прана, это все спонтанно вовлечено в служение. And now Nimai Pandit has been very nidoya here, very cruel, and swam away. All the residents of Navadweep they feel intolerable suffering. Но сейчас, когда Нимай Пандит проявил такую жестокость, стал нидоя. Oh, Nimai Pandits! Oh, Why did you leave Navadip Dham? Please come back! Please come back!
Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Who will lead the dancing through the streets of Navadweep? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna.